Hi, my name is Justin Frazier, and for this first speech, uh, the topic that I wanted to discuss is actually a current business event and something also that I found in a company article on and Forbes. And what it, the article was titled was called Texting is Killing Real Business Communication. And I thought this was a real important subject because with social media and texting uh, is something that is used a lot more frequently in business, not just email. Um, and so in the article, uh, he went on to describe some things that he liked and did not like about using texting in business. And I wanted to go over that and some of my personal thoughts and kind of let you know what I thought. So in the article, uh, an important statistic that he brought up was that 50 to 65% of communication uh, in business is nonverbal um, through like emails and things like that. And then another interesting statistic that was brought up was that Every second, 225,000 text messages are sent today. And I just thought that was a, a really crazy number. Um, I know that we spend a lot of time on our phones, but and especially at work, for work-related things sometimes, and that just seemed like a very high number. Um, and one thing that was addressed, the author's position, was that the use of text messaging was going to continue to grow within the business community. Um, it's... The technology is here and it has helped and it makes a lot of things easier but it also hinders a lot of things that we use in communication that you can't really duplicate with just a text. He was supportive in certain situations but there were a lot of times when he felt that text messaging maybe was used inappropriately and in one instance uh, uh, someone was given a pink slip via a text message uh, to be let go. Um, some things that have have been hurt with business communication because of texting are things like eye contact uh, because you can't physically see the person you're you're just you're talking to them um, things like abbreviations really really hurt uh, in the business texting uh, your posture there's no posture in texting um, if I'm uh, I'm kicked back on the couch you'd never know but we could be talking about something very important if maybe it was a sales pitch or things like that there are lots of suggestive uh, postures that either the the buyer or the seller uh, have whether they're they're drawn their arms in or their their hands are open or um, something that was brought up later was called hand to face and that's when you're talking about someone's trustworthiness a lot of a, something that's looked at is that when people put their hand over their their mouth or near their face they're a lot of times lying um, and I thought that was a very interesting and I had never thought about it that way before um, things like facial expressions don't exist in text messages which you may tell me I'm wrong because there are emojis now um, if you have an Apple device um, and those, those cr were created to, to kind of digitize the, the facial expression but a lot of times in, in an instance when someone types LOL they're, they're probably not sitting at their phone literally laughing or crying as an emoji might do. Um, it's more of just an ex, uh, a quick way to express that emotion. A lot of times it's not the emotion that we feel though. Um, things like body movements, uh, like I'm moving my hands talking to you now. You can't see that in text messages. It's a good way to get your point across sometimes. It's something that I personally use a lot. Um, and they used uh, the term mirroring, um, and that was a new term to me, but that was actually being face-to-face -face with that person and being able to, to observe them and vice versa, they observe you. So that was something that you lose in the text, text messaging. Um, Again, uh, the lack of nonverbal skills like uh, the posture, the hand to the face, uh, the emojis can't replace that. And that's something that's so important in business. If I'm trying to sell you a product, I can tell what type of things you're interested in or may not be interested in by the type of, if you cross your arms, you're closing me off. Or if you, if you, if you draw your feet up under you while you're sitting at a table may mean that you're, you're withdrawn. And as I open you up during the conversation, you may open your arms out, you may unfold your hands, uh, or any number of things. Um, then we, we talk about things that are, the reason texting is good in business. Um, things for like setting up meetings, uh, a quick, yes, I'm going to be there, no, I'm not, set a location. With the technology that we have now, all those things are basically instantaneous. You can send your location, a meeting time, you can link it to your Outlook calendar, and those are great. They help people keep up with things. They've really eliminated the need for an assistant. Your phone is basically your assistant now. So I think that's very, very important. And for general office responses, if you're talking within the group that you work with about a light topic, um, 
uh, the texting is great. Uh, group chat is something that's used a lot where I work. Uh, we have a group chat that we keep open for lines of communication. So if you're thinking about something that you, you're not at the, our weekly meeting, but you're, you're thinking about it, you can throw it in the group chat and generally somebody will respond back to you. And it's a great way to keep things on the table that we'll review later on. And I think it's been a great way for us to continue to grow as a company. So I thought this was a very important topic. Um, texting is everywhere. Uh, kids get phones before they're even in middle school now and and it's only going to continue to progress with things like like Skype and online into it go meetings and things like that where technology really is the way but there's just certain things that you can't replace and that's why companies still have sales reps even though they may have a, a website that you can go and buy from if you're in a company and you need a, a vivid description that's what that salesman is there to do he's there to work you the same as a car salesman to persuade you to buy or to help you in your buying decisions. So I thought this was a really cool topic and something that I really wanted to speak on and something that interacts with, with really all of us every day, especially in the working world. So uh, again, my name is Justin, and this is How Texting is Killing Business Communication.